future drops coming at you here. We're just coming back from the hack. We got our accounts restored. I've released the video explaining the whole story behind that. So we're catching up on some vlogs that were supposed to be released in the last couple of days that uh, obviously uh, couldn't be released. So I'm putting them together for you right now. I hope you enjoy them. We're gonna go back in time a little bit and uh, carry on with our trip back here before the hack. So we got two videos, this one and one more that happened before the hack. What a stressful couple of days. So let's get back to some Trucker Josh vlogs, shall we? Hit that like button. Hi, I'm Jackson. And I'm Nelson. We're from South Louisiana. You're watching Trucker Josh and Diesel on DJV. And as always, thanks for watching. everybody so we got to get home today we're in uh, Owatonna Minnesota at a quick trip truck stop we're gonna hit the road we don't want to waste any time fill up my trailer first that takes a little longer lights are all on pre-trips done we have 13 hours and 33 minutes available to us on our uh, well, 14 hour clock or 70 hour clock. We have nine hours and 48 minutes available to us in the US. We'll have more available in Canada because we're recapping hours now. I'll have enough to get to the border, no problem. All right. I might stop in Fargo Blue Beacon. I am in a rush to get home, but I do got to stop for my half hour break somewhere, right? And if there's no lineup in Fargo, I think I might take my half hour break there. That'll be close to the end of my eight hours. No, actually that'll be around like six hours from here. We'll see if we can use my half hour, send the truck in for a wash and park there for a little bit and stare at it. We'll see. See what happens. Just double check on my trailer. Attached. I already checked all my straps and stuff with my pre-trip. Let's get out there. I want to go home. Got an extra long weekend ahead of us and very exciting things going on. Tomorrow is transfer day for Brit. IVF or implantation day. It's the big day we've been waiting for for years now. So that's tomorrow morning. And then I'll be home uh, with her on Friday. Make sure she's comfortable. And then obviously for the weekend after that, Saturday, Sunday, and I'll probably make myself available, uh, provided there's no complications with the procedure or anything, I'll make myself available on Monday. We're hoping to be able to plan a bit of a vacation for ourselves for our anniversary this year. And we're hoping it can be a celebratory vacation celebrating a pregnancy, uh, but we won't know much for a while and we won't be announcing anything for a while either. Until after her trimester, uh, first trimester at least. So we'll see what happens. I almost forgot my signal there. Trucker Josh, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Me. Let's get on the interstate. Old Blue has been running very well. She's been a very good 
very happy with it. Knock on wood, everybody. But, uh, you know, I'm trying to treat her the best that I can. Seven million miles. That's uh, 2.8 some million kilometers. My goal for it is to get it to 5 million kilometers, which is. Oh, come on, Karen. My goal is 5 million kilometers, which is 3 million miles. And who knows? Maybe we'll keep going after that. We'll see how she's doing. Dirty, but she's been dirtier already. I'm gonna wash her at the shop. I'm gonna wash it myself. Uh, I stopped at the Blue Beacon, the lineup was way too long, and I'm already running later than I wanted to. I'm gonna get home at like nine o'clock, which is fine, that's perfect. I'm home tonight, right? We only have a couple more hours to go. I'm at the last rest area in the US before we hit Canada. Canada is just about, uh, I don't know, half an hour that way. So we're getting close. I've just been booking it all day, stopping for minimum amounts. I was going to stop and do the truck wash. That didn't work out, but I did stop, get fuel, took my half hour break, got some food and uh, water. Other than that, it's just been go, go, go all day. So let's continue. Every minute I spend sitting here is one less minute I spend sitting at home. No more stopping till we get home. Not just at the border. Let's stop at the border. We're here in Drayton, North Dakota. This is north of Grand Forks. Exit 187. They have a Love's Travel Plaza here now. That's pretty much just for us Canadian drivers going back and forth here because the majority of the traffic here is Canadians. That's nice. 
I haven't stopped there yet. I don't usually fuel there, but I do have a fuel card for it. So we should be home in, uh, what, an hour and a half? I'm gonna be delivering this load next week. It needs to be delivered next week, which works out perfect with my schedule. Britt's got her doctor's appointment tomorrow. I've gotta go and give some blood as well for some testing. It's uh, for my own thing. I'm still trying to figure out what that discomfort in my back is, even though it's not there right now. It's not very a, really a pressing issue for me, so I'm not in a big rush. But they want a CT scan. My doctor wants to do a CT scan. So I gotta go and uh, get my blood tested first before they do that. And then this truck, Old Blue is going in for its first full service since being in my care. Got her booked in. It's that time. Gotta make sure I keep up with that. I'd rather get it serviced too often than not often enough. But usually around every, I'd say 30,000 kilometers. That's usually where I would uh, go and get the service done, gets greased. The newer trucks with the like semi-synthetic oil they're using, some of them can go like 80,000 kilometers, or like 50,000 miles. That's way too long in my opinion, that's way too long. I know that the manufacturer says that, yeah, that's how long you should wait, but come on. It's nice to have your truck serviced a little more often than that. You want the mechanics in there, you want everyone in there taking a look at everything, just giving everything a good look to see if you missed anything when you've been looking at it. Get some fresh oil in there, fresh fluids, fresh filters. And get the truck greased. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. About every 30,000 kilometers, that's uh, 20,000 miles. How often do you service your truck? If you're a truck driver out there, you're owner operator, or if you're a company driver, it doesn't really matter. How often is your truck serviced? Like full service, full oil change, filters, everything. And what kind of oil are you using? <laughs> I'm not even too sure yet. I, I forgot to ask when I bought the truck, but the shop I'm going to is the shop that's been taking care of this truck for like 10 years. So they know. They just moved all the records onto my name. Like I know what oil to put in here. Like I know some of you are like, what? Now, I know what oil it uses. I just don't know what brand he put in there last. All right, this is the first service I'm going for. I know that's a question I should have asked. I know. In all the excitement of me taking ownership, it's one of the questions I forgot to, uh, I could always call him, call up the previous owner if I needed to, but I figured, I've, I've thought about it throughout the month. Why don't I just call him and ask? But I'm like, yeah, if, it, if I need to, I will. I don't want to bother him. So if I suddenly need to add oil, but no, the truck's not burning or losing any oil. But I can get a hold of him if I need to. The shop knows what to do, and they'll tell me. I'll see it on the bill. Lots to get done, and then next week, this load is taking me on six to six different delivery locations across Saskatchewan, ending up in Maple Creek, Saskatchewan, near the Alberta border. It'll be a busy week. We made it back. 
And I got some disappointing news. Ah, uh, we picked something up. Must have been just recently. Maybe just this, I was parking the trailer before or something. You hear that? <laughs> I can make it sing. That sucks. That sucks. <laughs> Got a nail. <sighs> I parked it in here. I'm like, I hear air leaking. Maybe the suspension is adjusting. So I'm like waiting for it to stop. It's not stopping. It's not stopping. It's not stopping. It's not stopping. <sighs> so I did some investigate. Investigatory work? Investig... I did some investigations. Found the culprit. This tire is going to be flat by the time I uh, come back. So uh, going to have to bring that to the tire shop, get that patched. Hopefully they can patch it. Yes. The day before we got hacked, we got a flat tire. <laughs> <laughs> Like my dad said to me uh, when I explained this all to him, when it rains, it hails. So not only was I dealing with the hack of my account, I also had to go and get this tire patched. I didn't film any of that because my brain wasn't really in the vlogging mood. But thanks to KK Penner in Blumenor, they got it patched up. It was all good. No spoiler alerts or anything, I'm just, there's no videos coming about that. I just wanted to fill you in that we got the problem fixed. And we also got the hack problem fixed. So all problems have been fixed. What a problem solving weekend this has been. Bunch of nonsense. Terrible. But you know, one thing I'm thankful about is that all of this happened with my account when I was at home and not on the road by myself. Britt, my wife, she has been my rock through all of this. I have been just, like this is 11 years of my life. This channel is very important to me. You guys are all very important to me. My content is my, like my life's journal. It, <sighs> ah, so uh, to see somebody get into it, you know, you feel violated. You feel uh, like someone's just walked into you, like broken into your house. And just looking around at all your stuff that's yours and just taking what they want. They, they can take anything. It's a serious, uh, you feel very violated when that happens to you. But, you know, again, thanks to YouTube support, Google support, uh, we were able to get it fixed pretty quick. And, you know, I don't think I'm going to be ragging on them much anymore. They did a really good job. So another, another thank you to them. To Google for uh, fixing this problem, but it has really taught me a lesson or two. It's taught me, uh, you know, it's taught me that I'm, I need to take security a lot more seriously. So <laughs> I've invested heavily into uh, new security measures. Yes, all these security companies are very happy with me today. I have been spending some money with them. It's, uh, and plus, I got my tire fixed too, so it's been, a, it's been a bit of an expensive weekend, but it ended off good, I think. Ended off good. So the tire's fixed, the truck is getting serviced as well on Monday, before I head out on my new trip. Or not my new trip, I'm continuing on with those uh, with the load I have. The truck is being serviced, so Old Blue will be good. The truck of Josh Vlogs is good. Josh himself is good. And uh, my phone is apparently deciding that now that I'm vlogging is a good time to go nuts. It's been quiet for the past like six hours now. Suddenly when I have the camera on, that's when it wants to go ba -ding, ba -ding, ba -ding. But I have my, my volume on now all the time. I never, now I won't turn my volume off on my phone because I need to have those notifications instantly if there's a security alert. Uh, because uh, I'm very wary right now and I've got, I've got all my antenna out everywhere. I'm like, oh, who's messing with me? Who's messing with me? So thanks for watching today. Thanks for watching every day. Thanks for being here from whenever you got here. If it's been since the very beginning, 11 years ago, or if you just found out about me now, 
I appreciate you a lot. I hope you hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you weren't unsubscribed through this whole process of my account getting hijacked and stuff. Uh, I have full control of everything again now, so please go down below. Make sure you're subscribed. It's free, and it helps me out a lot. I appreciate your support through all of this. Truly, I do. You all are uh, amazing friends. Take care, everybody. I have another video coming out for you of the transfer uh, for our IVF treatment, or our IVS, uh, IVF appointment. I can't even talk now. Still recovering. Still recovering. <laughs> don't worry, I don't got to go anywhere today yet. I have another night to sleep it off, and then we're heading out tomorrow.